Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is a travesty playing some Pillars of Eternity. We're still down here in the Temple of Eothus, looking for the remains of these Eothosian priests down here. And where we left off last episode, we found this secret door in this room here, so we're going to continue through there and see what's beyond this door. So, let's continue on. Of course. Oh, right away, we got something right here. What is this? A scalder? Well. Hmm. Well? Oh, he just scurried off. All right, let's go see if we can find out where he's going. Of course. Let's go well, ahead and do a recon, actually. Of course. See where he's running off to. There he is. What's he doing? Oh, he's got a buddy up here. He's taking off. Hmm. Oh, what's this say? Oh! Okay. Looks like they got a little patrol route or something going on here. What's he gonna do? Stay there? Okay. Back up, back up, back up. What's he gonna do? Alright, he's gonna stand there. Alright, let's go ahead and shoot your ass up then, buddy. Okay. Alright, let's get everybody together here. Of course. Alright. Now, can well, we shoot him? Alright. Let's go for a knockdown. Let's move everybody up. Huh? Alright, let's go ahead and change weapons back to melee. What is it? Okay. And let's see, let's get let's get him right back there. Oh, we got him already. Alright. Yes. Alright, now where'd the second one run off to? Let's go back to nice stealth. Nice and quiet. I'll take care of it. He's up here. Oh, there he is. Alright, hang on. Let's go back here a little bit. Alright. What is it? Let's go back to crossbow. Let's shoot him up. Uh! See what he does. Alright. Let's go for a knockdown. And Thanks. let's go. 37 damage. Let's go back to melee. Let's go well, for a flank. What? Oh, we took him out already too. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at a journal if I remember right. I think we met these things before. Oh yeah, damage resistance zero. Relatively weak, these whelps. Alright, what's on the body? Scolder ear crafting material. We can grab that. All right, let's go back to stealth. All right, what did this say now? These collapsed stones are pocked with burrows and narrow crevices. Claw marks and dung mark the passage of beasts. Okay, that must be where these things are coming in. These ruins from then or something. Okay, let's see what of else course. we have in here. Well, here's something. Vermin have scoured these plates. Though mold still grows in green black clumps across the table. Yummy. Alright, let's go see what's up this way. Anything hidden over here? Nope. Alright, let's take a look at the map. Oh, it looks like this connects over here. This is the area where the spiders were. Let's go see what we have up here. Oh, there's a scolder right there. Back up. Oh, too late. Okay. Well, let's go get him. Let's go for a knockdown. And endurance, you can follow right behind him. And let's go for a flank. And let's go for a shoot up. Hey. Oh, there's a second one. Endurance, go for the hit. What? Alright, let's see. Where is this guy going to go? Let's keep going for the flank. Okay, he's near death and he got knocked down, so let's maneuver. Actually, let's keep going to the flank. I'm not sure where he's going to go. So let's get a deer over here. Hey. Let's go for a knockdown on this guy. Okay, he's going for Travis. Let's go over here. Let's go for a blinding strike. Keep beating that guy. And let's get some arcane assault. 
Okay. He's blinded, dazed, and flanked. He's near death. He's near death. Let's hit that again. And what else can we do? Let's go for a crippling strike. And there they go. Alright, Travis took some damage there. Alright, let's go back to stealth. What do we got on the bodies? Some more scalder ears. And it looks like we have some bookcases. As you wish. Let's do a quick search around here. What's over here? Nothing there. Okay, yeah, that's the room where the spiders were right there. What do we have here? Monsters of the Deadfire Archipelago. Looks like a lore book. Hmm, probably some good reading on some monsters we could possibly meet in the future. Barbed Ravager. Winding Serpent, Leviathan, Pulpavir. Probably some good reading material. Let's grab that. And some coins. Oh, there's some more right there. Okay. Alright, let's set up. Well, let's go to missile weapon and take the shot. Alright. Alright, let's go for a knockdown on him. Durance follow in behind, and let's go for the shot with Alos. Hey. Oh, that one's coming around the other side. Okay, if that's the case, let's back off a little bit. Let's come over here. Alright, let's go for a knockdown on him. And Travis, you can go for the flank. Endurance, you can stay right behind the deer. Hey, Locke, hey. you come back here. <laughs> Alright, go for the hit. Alright, he's going over there, so Travis, you can come for the flank. He's knocked down. A deer, you can go for a knockdown on this one. Let's go for some arcane assault. Let's go for the flank. Let's get some blinding strike. Not too long. All right, let's hit that again. But I'm slowly. Going. <laughs> All right. Come on, get him. Oh, still got the crossbow going. No wonder he was taking so long. That's all right, though. We got him. Durance took a little bit of damage because of my foolishness. All right, let's go back to stealth, and let's check the bodies, and some more scolder ears. All right, what do we have here? A fine sword. Nice, accuracy plus four, and some bonus damage. Ooh, I bet that's Wh Witten's, or Whiten's sword, whatever his name was again. Let's actually take a look at that. That would actually probably probably be good on Travis here. Time to retire the old Zalrip Spear, I think. Okay, let's go ahead and put that in stash. Let's move that into stash, and I think the dagger can go too. I think we'll keep the club though in case we run into any more of those spiders. Alright, so it looks like we've got some decent weapons now. All right, so what is this? To his grace, I write to implore. The rest of this letter is crossed out in several places and then abandoned altogether. Hmm. As you wish. All right, let's search the rest of this place. And we have another bookcase. What's here? Some coins. These prayer scrolls are coated in a thick layer of grime and dust. And it looks like we have a small room here. And well, the locked chest. Is away. 40 experience points. And we have a mace. Let's grab it. It's over here. Another bookcase with some more books. The Great Western Stag. What is this? A lore book it looks like. 
and another book. The Book of Verses appears to be a lore book. Let's grab them. And whatever this is, I don't know. Looks like it's in the next room over, but we can't get there from here. Nothing else in here. Alright, let's take a look at the map. Looks like the only place we haven't been yet is right over here, so let's go that way. How are we looking? We're still pretty healthy. Travis has taken some damage. How hmm? Still have a decent amount of spells. Of course. Let's continue on this way. We have here a pile of rocks or something. And we have a crate or something over here. There's something ahead. Oh, we got a trap here. Can we disarm that? You cannot disarm the trap. Do you wish to trigger it? Hell no. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. I wonder how we can bypass that trap. Alright, and we have a door down here. There's a container there. And some more scalder a scalder king. Hmm. Yes. Alright, let's do a quick recon. And some more scalders. Oh, back up, back up, back up. Okay, it looks like four scalders, one of which is a king. Hmm. Anything else up here? Nope. Okay, let's see. Alright, let's go to the crossbow. And... Hmm, this is going to be a kind of a weird spot to attack him from. But we can shoot him up with the crossbow, I guess. Hey. This might actually be a good spot to go to defender mode, though. With a deer. I guess we could use spirit shield too. Let him attack a deer and then we can just pound the hell out of him. I don't know how strong these damn scalder kings are though. I've never fought one of them before. But, uh, let's see how what we have for spells left. Well, we got a. What? Yeah, I guess we could just pound him with spells, but we'll see how it goes. Well? Okay, in the meantime, this might actually be a good spot too to buff up. Let's go ahead and eat some chicken. Hmm? And let's get some beef loaf. Probably be wise to crank up on some of that stuff. Yes. Alright, let's go ahead and go for the sneak attack shot on the king, I guess. Can we get him from here? Kill them all! Oh, of course. Man, damn. Doing all kinds of craziness here. Yeah, let's target that king first, I'm thinking. Kill them all! Go for the shot. Kill them all! Okay, now. Let's let's see. Okay, yeah, they're all coming right at us. So I never used this before. Let's see how this actually works. Let's see. It's gonna give us. It's gonna lower attack speed, but it's gonna give us a couple more enemies to engage. So it should draw them into a deer, and it'll increase his deflection. Let's try it. And on top of that, let's try some of the spirit shield. So let's move Travis back and let's start going crazy with some spells let's put up some armor of faith and let's fire out some missiles let's put them on that guy Travis can move back here And let's see, what else can we do? Okay, so he's got the potion fired up, so let's move up here closer. And where's the king at? He's right there. Ooh, they're in a nice good spot where we can probably cast some spells. Let's move up in here. Okay, are we all buffed up now? Yes. Actually, Travis can probably keep the crossbow going. Let's move over here. 
A deer, let's go for a knockdown. Let's go ahead and do some curse. Yeah, let's fire up some curse. Let's put some curse right in here. And let's put some bless up next. Huh? And Travis just keep firing. I think we'll target the damn king. Well, not to Alright, that scalder's near death. Alright, what can we do next? Let's put... Alright, curse is out. Let's go ahead and put some arcane assault out here. Okay, one of them's dead. Let's go for a knockdown on this scalder, I guess. Okay, so we got Bless up. Now, let's move over here with Durant. And let's use up some Arcane Assault again. Travis is just firing. Just keep firing. Actually, I wonder if I can get in here. That Scalder King is going to take a beating, I think. Hmm. I wonder if I can actually get a better shot from over here. But in the meantime, what can we use for some damaging spells here? I might be able to use some Divine Mark on that King. Actually, let's use that. Divine Mark. The King's right here, so let's use that. Keep firing the crossbow at him. Yes. Alright, he got a knockdown. Alright. 33 burn damage on him. He's badly injured now. What do we have left? Let's start cranking out some missiles. Let's see, he's near death, so let's target... Can't see him? Alright, let's move over here a little bit. Let's start cranking out some missiles. Oh! Okay, that killed the last of them, I guess. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, what the hell was that? There's another apparition right there. Okay, let's check the bodies real quick. Nothing but a bunch of scalder ears, it looks like. Let's grab them. Okay, let's check this container real quick. Dagger, a gem, and some coins. What is this? A haze fills the air, coalescing steadily into a blur of dust and mist. It gathers into the outline of what appears to be a dwarf, a shimmering echo that fades in and out of sight. But stronger than sight is the sense within you of a powerful energy. It roils and seethes with the grief that seems to spill into your own thoughts, tainting them until the sorrow is your own. Like a crashing wave, the energy surges toward and into you, and suddenly you are elsewhere. Before you is a brightly lit stone corridor, lined with torches and gleaming crystals. You're running, your footsteps echoing off the stone around you. You forgot to tie your sandals, and they're slipping from your feet, following your steps. You're late, again. The rite's going to begin without you. You hear the tolling of a bell and your spirits lift as you recognize the familiar warped tone of the right hand representing the first of the dawn stars to appear in the night sky and last to fade in the dawn light. You pray fiercely that this is the first of the chimes and not the last. The lights fade as does the memory and when your eyes clear the spirit is gone. What the hell? Addendum added. Buried secrets. Hmm. I have seen some manner of spirit within the temple, or a memory at least. In this memory I recalled an Eothosian rite involving the ringing of bells. 
The first and last of these tolls apparently is that of the right hand, which has a distinctive warped tone to it. Hmm. Okay. What's this? As you wish. What the hell was that? A powerful odor of spices rises from one of these dishes. Vibrant dyes and grain seeds fill the others. Hmm. I'll see what I can find. All right, let's search this place. All right, I don't know what the hell that apparition was about there. <laughs> that was kind of strange. So we have a pool of water here. Nothing else that I can see. Hey. Okay, Adir, let's turn off that defender's mode of course. there. Nothing else in here it doesn't look like. Alright, I think we're going to come back to this. I don't want to set it off because I don't... I don't know. Maybe we'll find something to allow us to bypass that trap somehow. We'll come back to that later. Alright, now we're in this room with whatever this is, but let's search this real quick. And we have a door that appears to be locked. Addendum added. The door to the lower floor appears to be sealed with some enchantment. There's a set of bells beside the door which may be part of opening it. Okay. Sure enough, these are bells. Okay, before we mess with that, let's search the rest of this here. Nothing else in here. Okay, let's take a look at this. Three bells hang from the stone protrusion that runs along this wall. Ears of dust and grime coat the metal. There's one large bell at the center flanked by two smaller ones. Hmm. Okay, examine the bells. The bells appear to be fully intact. They're made of a thick iron and look very heavy. There doesn't appear to be much out of the ordinary about them. Hmm. Actually, we had something. What was that? Wasn't there a parchment or something we had? Was it this one? Redemption for even these forgot and struck the largest bell first rather than the second. Hmm, that would imply that the largest bell needs to be struck second. Hmm. Okay, let's see. What did that journal say? Uh, I recall an Eothosian rite involving the ring of bells. The first and last of these tolls apparently is that of the right hand, which has a distinctive warped tone to it. That implies the right bell should be rung first and last. Okay, so I'm thinking the bells need to be rung in order. The right one needs to be rung first and last. The large bell needs to be rung second. Something like that. So right, center, left, right. Let's try that. The right bell first. The bell sounds a strange warbling peal that grows to a painful shrillness before it diminishes to a mournful chime. Okay, now that should be the larger bell second. You heave at the bell, and as it swings back in the other direction, the clapper strikes a low, powerful note against the heavy iron. You feel the ringing in your chest as the sound moves through the ruined halls in a rolling tide. Okay, now I'm thinking it's the left bell. The bell tolls a high, piercing note of startling power. The tone echoes merrily through the halls, until it seems that a dozen chirping notes ring through the temple. Okay, no. It should be the last one is the right one again. The peculiar chime rings through the ruins. There's a quiet, melodic chime from all three bells before their discordant voices meet in one powerful rising rush of sound. 
It seems to fill the whole of the temple, a driving flood of song that drowns all other thought. As the tolling fades, you hear a creak from the direction of the doors as the passage to the lower level swings open. Nice. There we go. Okay. Nice and quiet. Let's search this. Okay, there's a stairway down. Okay. Anything in here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Okay, so... Yes. Are we on spells? We burned up damn near <gasps> everything here. So, let's take a look at the map. I think we have been everywhere. And we still have that trap to try to sort out, but I'm not going to try to screw around with that. Maybe we can find a way to bypass that somehow. So, I think what we will do is head back up to the surface, go to the inn, rest up, get all our spells back, maybe sell a few things, and then come back down here and go to the next level. So, we'll do that, and then we'll end the episode here.